And joining us now is Mehedia Azizi. She is a camera woman for the non-governmental organization called AINA, which is a Farsi word meaning mirror. And we are going to put a mirror up to your documentary and to Afghanistan society as we begin our chat here. Thank you for coming into our studios tonight. Thank you from you also because you invite me and you give me this chance that I want to say something about myself, something about my work, something about my country, something about my people, something about my documentary. Excellent. Well, let's let's start just finding out a little bit about you. You're 23 years old. Yes. You made this documentary how long ago? Like it was in 2003. So you were a teenager at the time when you made it. Yes. Hmm. You grew up in Afghanistan, obviously. You lived under the Taliban. What was that like? Yes, um, I grew up in Afghanistan. Um, I'm from Kabul. Uh, when during the Taliban, and this time I was just at home. You know, there was no job, no work, nothing for the woman, for the even for the guys. Such a five years, all the people was jobless. No school, no course, no nothing. Just. Uh, like one and, half, uh, one and a half years during the Taliban, I was uh, at home. Then I find an idea that I should have a secret course inside my own house. Then I um, invite some students, uh, like my neighbor, uh, neighborhood children, they come to my house and I start a very nice course for them and I teach them in different um, What were you uh, teaching them? Books, different books, which it's run already in Afghanistan schools. Where did you sp learn to speak English? You know, I'm very sorry about my bad English because my English is not so good. Your English is much better than my Farsi or my Afghani. So go ahead, my Pashtun. Um, uh, many times I learned that from the Farhanian people that who work with me in the same organization. Hmm. And also, like, since two years, I was in the faculty of uh, Said Jamaluddin Teacher Training Center in the literature section. But I didn't got, I didn't got anything more from that uh, faculty. Hmm. What was your view when the Taliban were defeated? Mm -hmm. What did you think? You know, uh, all the people was very sad. I will tell about myself that I was very sad because on that time I was a student. Everything was gone from me. But if Talib was not there, I will I will promote a lot. You know, during the after the fall of the Taliban, I could find this ability to be a Kama Kama Roman. Before that, if they were not there, uh, they were not here. I will um, make powerful my English, my computer, and other things. Were you glad when they were defeated, though? Of course, all the people is glad. Me also, I'm glad. You were glad to see them go. Yeah. They're not quite gone yet, though, are they? No. <laughs> are you concerned they may come back to power? I think so because you know um, some of the part of Afghanistan is belongs to the Taliban. It's under the control of the Taliban. Mm -hmm. Karzai is president for all around the world in Afghanistan, uh, all around the country in Afghanistan, but still there is some Taliban in some area. For example, in Qandar, in Wardak, in Logar, in Khos, there is some. Hmm. I want to show, uh, we're going to show a few clips from your documentary. I want to show one right now. And I, I want to warn people who are at home watching this that this does get a, a bit graphic. But this is from your documentary. Mm -hmm. Uh, description of what the Taliban did to a young child. Let's yes, watch this yes. roll tape. Okay. We went back to listen to other women, also victims of unpunished crimes. You travel all over Afghanistan, and I'm wondering how common that story was. You know, I had a lot of, a lot of trip during this um, documentary, but to be used for of the provinces, um, it's covered Jalalabad, Bamiyan, Herat, and Badakhshan. Uh, when we got this idea, that time we was a student, we share our own idea with my um, teacher that the um, documentary uh, director, she was the name of Bridget Bolt, she was a French lady. We, uh, we put all, all of the idea in the same table, then we thought what we should follow in this country. That's why it was after fall of the Taliban, we followed the women uh, subject. Then we took the decision to go to the provinces and we should research how, how many women are there which kind of difficulties they have. 
then we had travel in the provinces me mm -hmm. i self i am talking about myself even though i am afghan but i do know about the culture of the people in my provinces i do know about the difficulties of the people in my provinces mm -hmm. when i had a lot of trips here i got many experience but the kind and of i think story. that i am very lucky because i am in the center of the city hmm. it was more changeable for me but the kind of story we just saw that that you know appalling situation the you know, killing of young babies and children does that happen all over afghanistan Yes, of course. On that time, you know, there was, uh, you know, uh, nationalist people that they say you are Afghan, you are Azara, you are Tajik, you are Turkmen. That's why they killed the people like that, as the Zainab told us in the movie. Um, uh, for now on, also it's like this because the the people is not in the same idea. You know, that's why uh, they are uneducated people. They haven't any knowledge. During 30 years, there was war in Afghanistan. It will take such a long time, like 30 years, till they become uh, with the good knowledge and uh, educational. What are the biggest differences? I want to explore the differences between what it's like to be a woman in a big city, like mm -hmm. Kabul, and what it's like in the very rural, poor areas. Okay. What are the biggest differences? Good, good question. Thank you. <laughs> the things which is big different between the woman in the provinces and the woman in the city at first, the city women, they have this ability to go to school, to go to university, uh, to go to the hospital. They can walk to the city. They can uh, make some shopping. They can bring their children to the hospital, to the school. They can do everything, every kind of abilities for them. You know, They can go to the, um, uh, for example, in some of the TV, they have job as a reporter, as a news, uh, news reporter, as a uh, announcer as a um, um, beauty parlor um, uh, lady. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. I, Work in a beauty I hope salon that or? I should be um, correct with this word. In the province, it's not like that. You know, it's more bit changeable. For example, in the sum of the area, even the people haven't any school, haven't any hospital, haven't any good state that they should work on it. Mm. And also, they are under the forces of the men, you know, by uh, some cultural things. Uh, it's well, not let's show an example of one, shall we? Here's another excerpt from your documentary. Yes. This is from Herat, where women are covered head to toe in burqas. We'll show another clip if we could. Yes, Go ahead, of Mike. course. شما میفهمین که شرایط چندان مساعد نیستم و میترسیم ای برادر های جوادی چندان لیچه خش ندارن میخوان که همیشه هم شریعان ما سیاسر ما با چهاری و با ایجاب باشن ای قوزادی را خش ندارن که ما آزاد باشیم و ما رو لیش بگردیم میترسیم به خاطری که قبل هم همی رقم چی بود قمندان ها میترسیم ای برادر های مجاید میترسیم که فشار من نتن آزار من نتن سر فامیل ها من now, I call that outfit a burqa, but yeah. you, you, what, what is it called? Do you not call it that? Uh, we call chadari, you know, chadari. in Persian, chadari. Okay. This part of the movie which you uh, saw that it was Badakhshan. You know, Badakhshan is part of uh, the, the provinces in, mm -hmm. in Kabul. When we went there, I shoot this, um, I shoot this lady. Look, they have a lot of difficulties. They have a lot of wish. They had a lot of wish inside, but they cannot the, the wish cannot become true because they are under the force of the family, under the force of the commanders, under the force of the society, and also under the force of the, the people that who punish them. Has any of that changed since the Taliban were kicked out of government? You know, even the Taliban uh, kicked out from the country, but it's not um, okay for them. Right. It's not any benefit for them. You when, know, when you were with why. them, did you have to dress that way as well? Uh, I, when you were in that part of the country, uh, did you have to dress in a whole? No, I was just something like this. Just like that. I went like this. Yeah, I went like this in the this province. That's why the, it was very surprise for the people, mm -hmm. and they looked with big big eyes to me, and they were not happy. Some of them they were happy. When these ladies meet me, uh, they said we have um, our own. Uh, we want to express our own wish for you. That one time we want that we should be like you, without burqa. Did you see any men? in that area who made you uncomfortable or made you fearful because you were not dressed the way those ladies were dressed? Good. 
uh, when I discuss, when I had um, in the part of this um, provinces in this movie, uh, some discussion about the burqa with the man. Uh, this time I was, um, I saw s someone like this that the, it was a little bit that they beat me, even you know that they was opposite with my speech when I say what is burqa. Burqa is not come from uh, God. Burqa is not an Islamic law. Burqa is not uh, in the Holy Quran that the, the yes, the woman should wear burqa. It's not possible. It's not good. It's not from Islam. Islam get a lot of freedom for the woman, but no one followed that. Even in Islamic country like our country, no one followed that. You know, just uh, they looking for the cultural things. Mm -hmm. But what's the culture? Culture is more good for them than the law. You know. Maharia, you're one of the very first women journalists trained in Afghanistan. And I wonder whether when you interview men or mm -hmm. take pictures of men, do they take you seriously? Yes, of course. They do? Of course. You know, we have a lot of uneducational people in Afghanistan in every year. Just uh, some of them, they are not happy with our job because they think that the, uh, the camera woman uh, should not take a camera. Uh, this is uh, just a job for men not for women. Well, that's why I'm asking. Do they yeah. take you seriously or do they think or do they come to you and they say you shouldn't be doing this? They didn't say anything like this. Just uh, they, they say something bad and the reputation something back of us and also they say it's a very you know stronger job. It's not for you, it's for the men. Why you do this? It's not good. What you will do with your camera? Just this, this kind of thing. Do you dress the way you are today when you were dealing with the men in Afghanistan? Uh, yes, but a little bit longer than this because a uh, it's a little bit problem. We cannot go out like this, you know. And now I am in, the, in Canada, uh, and also I get it out my um, uh, my coat because it's a studio, you know. I had long coat here also, but I get it out because it's not allowed to come with that here. I understand. You may know Canada has more than two thousand soldiers in Afghanistan right now. Uh, there is a big debate, a big discussion in this yeah. country right now as to whether they should be there. What do you think? I think uh, it's not important for me. It's Canadian, it's French, it's American, or each one, you know. Just I want to tell you one thing. Still, Afghanistan needs the international media community, people help for Afghanistan. We need. You know, if they didn't help us, we cannot do anything. So you're happy to have the troops there? Yes, why not? All local people are, are happy about the people that who helped to Afghanistan. Okay. Just I cannot say anything about the people that who pushed by another country that they are against, um, they are sad against to foreign people. I do know about it. Uh, forgive these personal questions, but are your parents still alive? Um, I, lo I lost my mom during the war in 1999 when I was very small, young girl. My how, did, father, how did she die? Uh, during the Mujahideen period, when Mujahideen fight with each other, uh, this time the, uh, the war was continued by Mujahideen. Uh, she was in the third floor uh, in our house that just um, they shoot by gun to each other. It was um, attached to my mother. She got hit in the crossfire. Is that right? She was. Uh, People were shooting at each other, and she was in the middle of yes, it? Yes, yes. No, she was not in the middle. She, she was in my house. You know, the same group, they fight, they, they war, and they fight with each other. The same group, Mujahideen. For example, the people who was belongs to one, uh, command, one uh, commander, you know, mm -hmm. they fight uh, with each other. I think that uh, during the night, they steal everything, stole everything, steal everything. During the day, when they, and when they divide to each other, they were not happy, but they divided the material. Just, just they start the fight. Ugh. During this fight, my mom was lost. How about your father? My uh, my father is alive. Um, my father is um, again remarried. No, I have uh, six brother. We are two sister. Were they scared for you while you were making this documentary? M my family? Yes. Were they afraid for you? You went to some fairly dangerous places to make this documentary. Yes, of course. You know. So um, were they afraid for you? I will tell you that uh, it was my only wish from first time when I was very young, very small, like seven, six years old, that I had this wish that I should be a cameraman or photographer, anyone. Just uh, my, when my dream became true, I was very happy. And also, my father is very um, clever man. They are not. Uh, 
close mine, mm -hmm. all of my family. They support me in each section. Mehedia, I want to ask you one more question. Your country has been a mess for a long, long time. Are you at all optimistic about the future in Afghanistan? Yes, of course. It is the big, um, the big idea that um, for the people. They haven't any idea for the future of the Afghanistan, but still we have wish for Afghanistan. It, it should become uh, good. You think the future could look better than the past? I don't know about the future because when I am looking now, it's, it's bad, it's worse than before. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have everything. Everything is there, but the only things w uh, which we have in there, it's the safety problem. Yes. Yeah. It's the big difficulties for the people. If in any country there is no safety, there is nothing. What you should do with the, with the promote of the country if you haven't any safety? The safety is in the first step, I think. Safety first. Yes. Yeah. Afghanistan Unveiled is the name of your documentary. We're grateful that you could visit us today, and we thank Reporters Without Borders who helped bring you to Canada, and uh, we wish you luck in the future. Okay, thank you I very much. I look forward to seeing many more of your documentaries in the future. Of course, I hope so. Tell me how you say thank you in your language. Tashakor. Tashakor? Vale. Tashakor. <laughs> thank you.